Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn suit. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. There's not much danger now, thanks to you. Though we'll have to face the Darkspawn soon, won't we? Move along, friend. Thank you. We'll have to ready ourselves for the approaching dark spot. Might you have news? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it.
This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for Isold, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? But is he attempting to worm his way out of a bad situation? Or is he truly repentant for what he has done? And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. That I cannot do. He is a Maleficar, and I cannot unleash him on a land already racked by war and chaos. I am sorry. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker 
Have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. We are still not yet ready to call the Landsmeet Great Warden. Pursue your treaties and return with new allies if you are at all. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isle's family, and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Isle that much. You're right. Hopefully, by that time, there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait, it's not Tuesday, is it?
you and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Your friends are formidable folk and enchantment. Indeed. Yes. Yes. have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, no, no, no. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable... Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artefact I... It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. I can't even get to it now, but perhaps you could. Maybe you'd, uh, take it off my hands? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? Oh, that's a shame. Well, I hope that mule comes... 